Uh, the final M um, uh, is metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome is obesity, hypertension, diabetes, heart disease, gout, uh, mm -hmm. which all tends to cluster uh, and occur in the same patients. Um, uh, we know that uh, vitamin D is important for insulin release, for normal insulin release, particularly the early phase of insulin release, and it's very important for insulin sensitivity, and a number of studies have looked at that. Um, we know that patients who are obese are more likely to be deficient, and there's cause and effect there. Um, there are studies yeah. showing that vitamin D may be a mild appetite suppressant. So when, you're, mm. when your vitamin D level is normal, um, because you're more insulin sensitive, and insulin in the brain is the appetite suppressor mm -hmm. for the meal, so once your insulin levels go up in your brain, you feel, okay, I'm full, now I can stop eating. But if your brain can't detect that signal because you're mm -hmm. vitamin D deficient, you're gonna keep eating a little longer sure. to raise the insulin levels a little higher to overcome mm -hmm. that resistance. So um, vitamin D through the brain and insulin recept uh, receptor sensitivity may be a uh, appetite suppressant. Um, so there is cause and effect uh, uh, with obesity. Hypertension, there are studies showing that um, when you, uh, in the Harvard studies, uh, these co large cohort studies, patients who had lower vitamin D levels had higher blood pressure. And then there are prospective studies showing that when you take people with high blood pressure and you put them on vitamin D, not only does the, the tone of the blood vessel change, but their, their, their mm. systolic pressure uh, and diastolic pressure go down, okay? So, um, so to just to, to recap, there's muscle and bone, there's mood, there's memory, there's malignancy, um, uh, and there's metabolic syndrome. And these are the five big disease categories mm. that are associated with uh, uh, vitamin D deficiency.